Moses' life was filled with tremendous experiences, like the burning bush encounter with God, being the individual that God used to bring the 10 plagues to the land of Egypt. I mean, God used Moses to lead God's people on dry land through the Red Sea as God held back the water. Moses authored the first five books of the Bible. He saw God's afterglow in the mountain. He received the instructions for building the tabernacle and the Ten Commandments, twice in fact. You see, there were many, many more experiences in the life of Moses. But what's interesting here in Deuteronomy 33, the second to the last chapter of the book, we're given a record of Moses giving a blessing to the tribes of Israel. As Moses is coming to the end of his life, it's heartwarmingly clear that the heart that he had was a shepherd's heart for the people whom God had trusted him to serve and to lead. And he didn't want to leave them without blessing them. You know, in Psalm 90 verse 12, Moses wrote these words, teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. There is so much wisdom to be gleaned from this example of Moses in his heart for the people, the blessing he gives over them, and that he was numbering his days as he was coming to the end of his days. What he counted as most important were the people in his life. And in this chapter, Moses reminds the tribes of God's faithfulness. He asks for God's favor, protection, and provision to be upon them, and even to protect them from themselves. As one author put it, Israel's greatest danger wasn't the armies around them so much as it was their appetites within them. Idolatry was a constant pull upon the hearts of the people of Israel. So Moses, as he gets to the end of his days, he prays for them and blesses them. And just like we do so often here at Coastline, I would like to pray a familiar blessing over you and your family today. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Amen, amen, amen.